Hi, I'm Jeff Boffman, Field Conservation Coordinator here at Shine Mountain Zoo. We've been really busy with our ferret and wyoming tailed breeding programs, and I'm going to give you an update on what we've been up to. So Wyoming toads are really important for their ecosystem because they're an indicator species. So they show that the habitat's not healthy or as healthy as it could be. They also pest control, so they eat tons of mosquitoes and other insects that are out there. And they also, other things will eat them too. So birds and other animals will eat them. So they're super important for that ecosystem to be healthy. So in 2013, we started head starting the Wyoming toads, and that's where we hold toads until the age of one so that they reach maturity quicker than they might in the wild, or we have more survive until the age of one where they'll actually reproduce in the wild and hopefully have wild born egg streams. So in May of this year, our head start toads were all microchipped, swabbed for chytrid, and they got released in Wyoming, so about 200 of them. So that was really good for recovering the species and what we brought up to last year. Our adult toads then came out of hibernation and we bred them. We did, um, we had seven fertile egg strands and so we released about 4,000 tadpoles out into the Laramie Basin. And then we kept some back for next year's Head Start toads. So we actually have about 300 tadpoles that we kept back and some of them will morph out and we'll send them out to other zoos for the species survival plan, so for future breeding. And then we'll also keep them back again for one year of age and reintroduce those. Cheyenne Zoo has been involved with Wyoming toad recovery since 1992 and we've had nearly 40,000 tadpoles released back out into the wild and 700 one-year-old Head Start toads. So even though we haven't quite seen it yet in Wyoming toads, it is exciting that there are a few other species that we've seen some resistance to the chytrid fungus. Uh, it was wiping them out in the 90s and early 2000s, but now we're actually seeing some rebound in a couple of different populations. So that's good news for amphibians worldwide. So in addition to the Wyoming toads, we also breed black-footed ferrets, which you can see right here behind me. So the overall goal of ferret recovery is to not only reintroduce ferrets into the wild, but it's also to create healthy habitats and healthy ecosystems by managing plague so that all of the other animals in that ecosystem will be healthy and so we can restore it back to a natural balance. So we introduce them to meat at 26 days of age and then at 37 days their eyes will open and at that point they're able to explore and start going um, around where mom is going, so into their tube and into the tunnel. They get rodent at 40 days of age. That's important so they can start learning that skill of hunting because they will be reintroduced out into the wild. At day 60, they get vaccinated for canine distemper. Uh, a week or so later, they'll get immobilized, so our vet will check them out, make sure they're healthy, give them their microchips. So at 90 days, when they go out to the preconditioning pens, that's where they get their ferret boot camp. They actually learn how to hunt prairie dogs. They're put in the pens for about 35 days and they'll learn and explore and go underground and see what it's like to almost be out in the wild. And then if they pass boot camp, then they get released out into the wild in the early fall. So Black-footed ferrets are really important for the ecosystem because they're creating awareness for people of how important the prairie ecosystem is. They rely on prairie dogs for food and shelter. And there's also plague out there, which is introduced and it's affecting the prairie dogs and everyone else who relies on them, including the black-footed ferret. So all the other critters are starting to have issues with loss of food, loss of shelter, all of your snakes, your burrowing owls, anyone who lives in those burrow systems, they're declining as well. So super important for their ecosystem.